Hey there YouTube, my name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience. Uh, today we're working on installing server 2019 in our ESX environment. Um, starting out this channel uh, with some basic tasks. Uh, we recently got a junior help desk tech at the office and, and this is the first time I've really uh, been able to train somebody and I actually really like it. So um, I'm kind of starting this channel to hopefully help some of you junior guys out uh, to bring you up to speed to become you know, a full on systems admin or move out of help desk and become a junior or senior systems admin. And so today what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep it pretty basic we're going to install server 2019 in our lab environment. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go uh, open up your browser. Today we're using Firefox um, and, and download Windows Server 2019, the eval copy. Um, you can get it from Microsoft's eval center. Um, I've already filled out my information and downloaded the ISO. Uh, this is a, this is what it'll look like. Uh, it'll ask you for you know to pick your language and then you'll download the ISO. We've already logged into our ESXi environment and we're working on uploading uh, this to our data store right now so that we can start the installation process. This video is assuming you already have uh, you know, ESXi set up. That's, that's what we're using here in the demo. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll show you, I'll walk through the process of installing server 2019. This will probably be a, a multi-part uh, series. Uh, we'll work on installing server 2019, uh, installing DHCP, DNS roles, uh, uh, the Active Directory roles as well, um, and uh, you know, promoting it and making it a full-fledged domain controller. All right, and now we've got our ISO uploaded here into our data store. Uh, one tip for you, um, what I do is I'll typically create this ISOs folder, and this is where my ISOs sit uh, for operating systems when I go to install and build out virtual machines. Now we'll come back over here. Uh, we'll come to create and register a VM. This is gonna be a new virtual machine. So we're gonna pick create a new virtual machine. Uh, we're gonna give it a name. Uh, as far as naming schemes go, I pretty much like to keep things as descriptive as possible. Some guys will give it a random name uh, that's you know obscure. Um, that's typically considered security by obscurity. I like to be able to look at the machine name and uh, know what it does um, as far as you know somebody getting into your network compromising it they're going to be able to figure that out whether it's named appropriately or not so in this case we're going to give it lab and we're going to give it dc01 so when you look at the machine you can see okay it's 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 in the lab environment uh, dc01 so it's domain controller 01 we're going to select the guest os which will be windows and I don't think 6.7 has a provision for 2019 specifically, but it says 2016 or later. And so we are going to select next. We're going to give it, it's, you know, this is the only data store presented to this host. So we're going to select next. This is where we customize settings. Um, I'll typically give, uh, I'll typically give a hundred gigs and this is being very generous, generous, uh, you know, and leave it pretty much at the basic settings for the most part. Um, down here, this is where we're gonna select our ISO. Um, we're gonna select data store ISO file. We're gonna come to our ISOs folder and we're gonna come select the Windows eval ISO. Just click select and we'll click next, we'll click finish. It's gonna say virtual machine lab dash DC01 was successfully created. We can dismiss that We can come over here and power it on. And we're going to open up the console window, press enter, and now we're going to begin the installation process of server 2019. Um, you have to hit enter to get it to boot. Um, it's, it's pretty much like a physical machine at this point. And once it goes through its, its little cycle here, um, we'll start getting into some settings. And there we go. So you can kind of critique this based on your location. In this case, we're in the United States. Uh, time and language are both Engli uh, English. Keyboard is US. Click next. Install now. It's going to start the setup process. Now it's going to ask you what version of the OS do you want to install. Um, we're going to do standard edition with desktop experience. 
if you choose one without the desktop experience, it's not going to install the GUI or the graphical user interface. It's going to be command line only, um, which is, you know, more of a secure platform. Um, but I'm I'm comfortable with the GUI. That's 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 how I was taught, and most of the time, you're that's what you're going to see anyway. Um, so we're going to install that evaluation. Um, we're going to accept the EULA or the end user license terms. I'm going to click next. This is a new installation, so we're going to do custom. We're going to click new partition, allow it to use the whole thing. It's going to prompt you uh, to ensure that all Windows features works, work correctly. Windows might create additional partitions for system files. That's okay. You can see it's created a bunch of other partitions. This one here is going to be your primary where Windows gets installed. Click next. And now, now this is mostly a waiting game at this point. It's going to install the files and it may reboot once or twice and you'll come up and have to put in a password and then it'll take you to the desktop. Okay, now we're going to restart. Once this restarts, it should come up to a, a login type page or out of box experience page, and you're going to be able to create the admin password for the system. So once this boots up, we'll and we'll just give it a you know a, a, just a default password, and um, we can go back and change it later for security purposes. You see, it's still it's still getting ready. Um, this may take this process may take a few minutes to get it up to the out of box experience. The system's going to reboot one more time here. And we're back. So now we're at our out of box experience here. We're going to give it a password. And we're going to click finish here going to finalize your settings and this should take you to the desk or the uh, the login screen obviously the time is significantly off because it is that is not the right time here so let's go to console I'm um, sorry uh, I haven't had enough coffee this morning uh, control alt delete and this is actually a bug in VMware 6.7 um, I discovered this while I was teaching my junior guy the other day if you try and send control alt delete uh, this does not work uh, we tried chrome and firefox um, what we did find was edge was the only thing that worked in this case and i apologize i'm getting I'm getting this open off screen here and so that we can show you and continue on with this video and we're going to log into our host oops I'm going to put in yeah, we'll go to details, go to web page. I'll show you here. It's going to log into our ESXi host. We're going to go to our virtual machines once this loads up. We're going to find our lab domain controller. We're going to go to console, open browser. Now we're going to send control alt delete and it should work. Yep. There is a bug in 6.7 um, that I discovered um, for at least for server 2019. I haven't tried anything else yet, uh, but now we can enter our password here and it's going to log in. It's going to create the, you know, your, your admin account. And we'll set our time appropriately, just date and time. Uh, I click no on that. So we are Eastern time, UTC minus five. There we go. That's correct. And this is basically going to boot up and, um, you know, now you're now you'll be able to rename it, install roles, etc. So in this video, I guess we'll go to no, stop that. Minimize this guy. 
We'll right click over here. We'll go to system. And we're going to rename this PC because you can see it gives it just a random name. And you look at that and say, well, I, I have no idea what that does. So we'll give it lab DC01. I'm going to click next. Uh, we're going to restart this later because right now what I'm going to show you is how to install the VM tools or VMware tools. And we are going to go to guest and we're going to click this install VMware tools button. And now if you go to file explorer and go to this PC and double click your virtual DVD drive, it's going to work on installing your VM tools or VMware tools and then you'll reboot it and you'll be ready to go with the next step. So guys, I hope you, while this installs, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I'll be working on building this lab environment out uh, on the channel so that you guys can uh, follow along and learn. Um, you can also follow along on my webpage, achelper.com. Uh, I'll try and write up some tutorials and blog posts there as well so that you can, you can, uh, you can follow along there as well. So uh, with that being said, we're going to finish up installing tools here. And I typically, I just do typical. We'll click install, and this is a pretty quick process. It should ask you to reboot. And once this is done, you've now successfully uh, installed Server 2019 in ESXi in a new virtual machine. Um, so again, guys, hope you like these videos. I'm going to try and do some more of them. Um, I've really enjoyed kind of training our new guy at work, and that's what's spurred uh, some of this off. Uh, and why I'm starting this channel. So hopefully you've enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up, a like, leave me a comment, um, subscribe, and uh, turn on your post notifications so you can see when I post the latest videos.